wood furniture, I have some great easy tips for you. First of all, if you want to take residue off of furniture, you want to clean the wood floors, there's nothing better than tea. Tannic acid will break down the residue and the dirt on the floors and leave them shiny. You're going to take a couple of tea bags, make up a pot of boiling water, and steep these until they come to room temperature. Take a microfiber cloth, wash the furniture down well and buff it, or wash the floors down well and buff them, and you're done. They'll be shiny and they'll be clean. If you want to make your own furniture polish, you can use olive oil and white vinegar. All you need is one cup of olive oil, one quarter cup of white vinegar. The olive oil will condition the wood, make it shiny, and the white vinegar will clean the wood so it stays residue free. Put it in a label container, it will last a year on your shelf. Now, do you have white rings on your furniture, heat marks that you want to get off? Great way to take those off is making a little paste of olive oil again and some table salt. Make it into a nice thick paste. All you're going to do is work it in to that spot. Now, you can use an old white sock that I find works really well. You can use a washcloth, a microfiber cloth, or even a piece of really fine steel wool. Work in a circular motion and then work with the grain. Let it sit overnight. Come back, buff it off. It should be gone. If it's not, repeat one more time and that should take care of it. Then just simply buff the table and you're done. Now, if you have ink on wood, there's an easy way to get that off too. You're gonna to take a little baking soda and a little water, mix it together into a paste again, something like school glue thickness. Then you'll just work it into the wood and you can do this again, even with a little pad of extra fine steel wool. Just work it in and that will come right off. When you're done, you can repolish the furniture if you need to. Now, I wanna to talk to you about what kind of things you can use to dust the wood and keep it shiny when you're not using furniture polish. Number one, a t-shirt is great. You can cut it into cloth pieces and use that to buff a microfiber cloth works great. Lamps wool duster or telescoping duster. Those are all things that will pick up the dust and not harm the furniture because we should only be polishing our furniture about once a month. Now, do you have scratches all over? What can you use for that? Simple things like markers that are meant for that, wax pencils that are meant for that, or one of my favorites is a regular crayon. You're just going to mix it together, put it on the furniture, and when you're done, take a warm cloth that you've dried in the dryer and buff that in and you won't even know where it is. If you have quite a few scratches or some dull furniture, Old English makes a great scratch cover that will cover up anything. They make it in dark and light. You can put it on the entire piece, let it sit for a little while, and then buff it clean. If you're looking for a printable copy, go to queenofclean.com. Check me out on Facebook at Real Queen of Clean. And thanks for talking dirty with the Queen of Clean.